This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is an American Lock Series 5100 Padlock. The Series 5100 is essentially identical to the iconic Series 1100 Padlock. However, instead of an aluminum lock body, the 5100 has a solid steel body. The 5100 is really a padlock that I never completely understood. It's obviously a very low security lock with the tiny little quarter inch shackle, so it always seemed like the solid steel body was a bit of a waste. For the applications it would be used on, the aluminum body was probably adequate, and that's probably why we don't see too many of the 5100s out there. In any case, we are going to see what it takes to pick into this lock, and then I'll take it apart and show you what's inside. As I normally do with American locks, I'm using top of the keyway tension with a 50 thousandths pry bar that I put a little bend in for comfort, and a standard hook in 18 thousandths. Okay, let's get started. Okay, one is binding, click there. Two is loose, three is loose. Click out of four, another click, couple clicks. I think that's all we're getting out of four. Five is binding. Got to click out of him. And I think that's it. Back to the beginning. Nothing on one, two, three, four, click, another one. Okay, just went into a false set off of four. Nothing on five, back to the beginning. One counter rotation on two, got him set. Counter rotation on three, and we got the lock open. Okay, let's take this guy apart and see what's inside. I'm not expecting any surprises. Usually the cores in these American locks are relatively standard, and I'm sure you've seen them before. However, <clears throat> Wow, that screw was in there tight. Okay, let's get a clip remover. And let's get a key and a follower. Okay, right away we can see this is a six pin core, but only has five of the chambers pinned up. Okay, there's number one, serrated. Two is standard. Three is serrated. Four is serrated. And five is serrated. Okay, let's get a pair of tweezers and check out these driver pins. Okay, number one is serrated. Two is a serrated spool. Three is a serrated spool. Four is serrated. And five is a serrated spool. Let's actually check on the inside of here. As you can see, we do have an anti-bypass plate in here as you should find in most modern American padlocks. Okay, let me give you a close-up of the pins here. As you can see, we have four serrated key pins. The only one not serrated is number two, and that's only because of the bidding. American Lock does that because the shorter key pins, even if they did put a serration in there, there's no way it would come into play, so why waste the effort? Then up on the driver pins, we have two serrated pins in slots one and four, and then serrated spools in slots two, three, and five. Moving over to the core, you can see it is a six pin core. However, there were only five chambers pinned up. That's always a disappointment to see. We do have an, an actuator on the back of that core that is bypassable. However, as I showed you a bit earlier, this did have an anti-bypass wafer, so that remedies the issue. And that is the standard American lock keyway. 
Okay, that's all I have for you on this American Lock Series 5100. If you have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.